So let's look at a few words. 咁我哋睇下呢几个字。First of all, what is participation? 乜嘢系参与呢？ It is to take part in. 就系有份参与。To share in. 参加。To partner in. 伙伴。That's just what the Webster's Dictionary says. 呢个就系嗰啲字典所讲嘅嘢。Participation is to take part. To partner. 就系要去参与，成为伙伴。Partnership is a key component of participation. So, what is a partner? 伙伴係參與嘅一個主要成分。乜嘢係伙伴呢 a, par- ？A partner is one who shares in or takes part with another。呢一個人係同另一個人一同分享或者係參與嘅人。For example, a dance partner。譬如跳舞嘅舞伴。Or a player on the same side of an athletic event。譬如係比賽之中同一方嘅選手。Like a tennis partner。譬如係打網球 ，It would be difficult to play doubles with only one person on one side of the net。係唔可以係打雙打打得一個人努力。To participate is this。參與就係咁樣。It is to agree to be a partner in an effort。參與就係同意要努力成為夥伴。There's an investment to be made that the other party is counting on。一方係要付出，而另一方係可以依賴嘅。We partner in worship with other believers. 我哋同其他嘅信徒喺崇拜之中一同嘅成为伙伴。We invest with one another in the holy act of worship. 我哋喺崇拜神圣嘅行动之中，我哋一齐参与。This is excuse me. Sorry. This is far removed from individualistic worship. 呢个就系令到我哋可以离开个人主义嘅崇拜。Instead, I come to worship ready to help my brothers and sisters in their worship of God. 我嚟到崇拜系要帮助其他嘅弟兄姊妹可以崇拜。What word is the opposite of participation? Passive. 参与嘅相反词系乜嘢嘢咧？就系被动。To be passive is to be acted upon, not doing the acting. 被动就系俾人哋嘅行动加诸喺自己嘅身上，而唔系作出行动嘅。To be passive is to show no interest or initiative. 冇興趣或者係唔主動嘅。Now here's what is fascinating to me. 令我覺得特別嘅事情就係、是、，as far as I can tell, the biblical words used for worship are always active words, not passive words. 就係聖經中用嚟形容敬拜嘅字，全部都係主動嘅，而唔係被動嘅。As far as I can tell, every word translated as worship in the Bible, 喺圣经里面翻译嘅每一个字，关于崇拜嘅 ，does not describe worship being done for us, but by us. 系讲我哋做嘅嘢唔系人哋做咗啲咩喺我哋身上。Let me give you a couple examples. 我哋睇一睇一啲例子。There are quite a few different words in the Old and New Testaments that are translated as the word worship. 喺聖經裏面有唔同嘅字眼都被翻譯為英文字 worship， 中文係崇拜或者敬拜。The one most commonly translated as worship is the Hebrew word shaka。但係最常用嘅係希伯來文字 shaka。Shaka is an action， 係帶有動作嘅。It means to prostrate oneself as in a subject to its master。係講到服拜，就好似神僕向主人咁樣做。It means to bow down or stoop。係講到彎腰或者係屈身 ，and that's the word worship。呢一個就係敬拜嘅字。It's used in Nehemiah chapter eight。亦都同樣係用喺尼希米記第八章。When some of the Jews were returning from exile to rebuild Jerusalem， 當猶太人被老後回歸重建耶路撒冷 ，they gathered in the gate to hear the law read。佢哋聚集喺一處聆聽律法書。In this chapter, when Ezra the priest opened the word of God to read the law, 喺呢一章经文里面，当文士以斯拉展开神嘅话，宣读律法。Listen to all this action. 听一听以下嘅动作。All the people stood up. 所有人站立。Proclaimed, Amen, Amen. 宣扬阿门，阿门。Lifted their hands in praise. 佢哋举手赞美。Bowed their heads. 低头。And here's the word shaka. They worshipped the Lord. 
跟住就係 Shaka 嗰個字，佢哋面伏於地敬拜耶和華。Which means that the people prostrated themselves with their faces to the ground upon hearing the word of the Lord。即係話嗰啲人將面伏喺個地下嗰度，因為佢哋聽咗神嘅律法。How's that for participation？ 係咪有好多嘅參與咧？依當中 ，That very word Shaka is the word worshipped in that passage。呢一個 Shaka 嘅字，一啲都。係唔係被動嘅 ？Here the people clearly did the action rather than were being acted upon。會眾清楚咁樣作出行動，而唔係被動嘅。The worship most the word word the word for worship most used in the New Testament is proskuneo。喺新約聖經中最常用有關敬拜嘅字眼就係 proskuneo。It is the Greek counterpart to shaka。呢個就係 shaka 嘅希臘文翻譯。And so proskuneo also means to prostrate oneself. 佢嘅意思亦都系伏拜啦。To do reverence, 敬礼。And it also adds a little bit of、uh, affection. It also means to kiss towards. 亦都系加上咗啲情感嘅色彩，就系讲到亲吻。This word is used many times in the New Testament. 呢个字喺新约里面用咗好多次。For worship, 系为系敬拜嘅意思。Here is just one example. 呢度又有一个例子。It is used in Revelation seven verse eleven and twelve. 就系喺启示录七章十一至十二节嗰度。All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. 众天使都站在宝座和众长老并四活物的周围。And they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God. And there's the word proskuneo. They worshipped God. 喺宝座面前，佢哋面伏于地敬拜神。呢度亦都系有嗰一个嘅字眼。跟住佢哋就讲啦。As they did so, that suggests they prostrated themselves before the throne. 即系话佢哋喺神嘅宝座面前，佢哋俯伏。And they were singing Amen. 佢哋讲阿门。Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. 众赞荣耀智慧感谢尊贵权柄大力都归于我们的神，直到永永远远。阿门。Do you see how active the Bible portrays worship? 有冇睇到圣经系点样形容神？诶、呃，崇拜系好主动嘅咧。Biblical worship is organized and directed action to God. 終於聖經嘅崇拜係做出向向神做出一啲行動。Through Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit， 係透過基督喺聖靈嘅能力裏面咁樣做。And it is done in partnership with others， 亦都係火拍住其他人一齊做出呢啲事情。A Christian worship experience is an opportunity to get involved and to participate in the action。基督教嘅崇拜讓人有機會參加參與喺呢一啲嘅誒行動之中。It is not passive. 唔系被动噶。It is not something we watch. 唔系我哋去望住一啲嘢。My mentor Robert Weber said it this way: Worship is a verb. 我嘅良师罗伯韦柏系咁样讲呢件事噶。佢话敬拜系一个动词。Say that after me: Worship is a verb. 请你都讲啊。Worship is a verb. That's the biblical picture we get. 呢一個就係聖經俾我哋嘅圖畫啦。In fact, you could say that worship is work. Yes, it is work. 事實上，你可以話敬拜係工作嚟噶，真係噶。And so, two more words. Both the Old and New Testament have words translated as worship that carry with them the emphasis of work. 咁再多兩個字嘅例子啦。喺聖經裏面仲有兩個字都係翻譯嘅時候同敬拜有關，但係都係講到工作。The Hebrew word abad is translated as worship. 希伯来文字 abad 亦都系被翻译成为敬拜。In the Old Testament， 喺旧约里面 ，it refers to the work of the priests and the Levites as they attend to all the details of temple worship. 呢个字指到利未诶嘅利未人祭司佢哋嘅工作，就系佢哋负责打点圣殿敬拜嘅细节嘅工作。Temple sacrifices, chanting songs and prayers, maintaining the property of the temple, and more. 譬如系圣殿嘅献祭啊，吟唱礼仪嘅诗歌，或者系保管圣殿嘅财物等等。You see, Abad included all of the ministerial duties of the priests as they attended to the demands of worship. 所以你睇到 Abad 呢一个字，包括嘅系祭司要满足神对敬拜嘅命令，所以要作出嘅所有服侍嘅职责
Worship was holy work. And in the New Testament, the Greek word liturgia refers to the same thing. Liturgia is used in reference to the formal priestly service or ministry or liturgy. In the book of Hebrews, Liturgia is mentioned in relation to Moses and Zacharias and Christ. I think we're beginning to see that to worship in the biblical sense is to participate. It is to be active. It is to work, to serve, to minister to God and one another. It is to be engaged with our whole being. I think from beginning to end, worship is participation. 